Hey, what's up? It's Equis, and thank you for listening to the GameX Presents podcast. Make sure to follow GameX Presents on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Google Plus. But for now, please enjoy the show. Yo, welcome everybody to another episode of GameX Presents the podcast. This is episode number thirteen. 23. 23. <laughs> 13, 23. This is episode number. Man, how long was I out? 23 in this new years of 2014, the first podcast of the year. And it this is, alongside me is my my main man to the oh, right. Th- this is Stuff from Anarchy Live. And to the left is my brother from uh, same mother. Victorinos. Victorinos is oh, plural. Victorinos. He's he's bipolar. He has many personalities. Um, but this is GameX Presents, where we talk about games. Gaming? Games and gaming and anything related to games. So and, but can, not Candy Crush? Candy Crush. What? No, never mind. I guess it's a game. Do, do you consider? Yeah, we already talked about it. We consider that games, but I think it is. It think, is a game. I'm gonna say something controversial. I think casual gamers are destroying the the uh, the games. What, why are you saying this, man? Yeah, I just feel like it. I feel like pissing some people off. All right, you go ahead and piss people off, but you know, the casual I mean, gamers are gamers, and yeah, and fuck casual gamers. The the problem is when when I, uh, you know what I hate. It's that that yeah. casual gamers are definitely contributing to. It's all these free games that they yeah, that, yeah that, free that, to that, play. That's what that's what I'm trying to get at. Like, I don't know. If it's exactly. It's like more than. It's just the, like the pure mobile gamers, casual gamers. If yeah. you're like a, a mobile casual gamer, but you're also like a console casual gamer, then uh, you're okay. You're cool. Yeah. Because you're. You, but if you're just a mobile gamer, kind of like what you're saying, just these free to play games. And, you know, now they're carrying over, they're trying to, you know, they're carrying over to consoles and, I mean, it just, it's, it's pisses me, I mean, pisses so, me so, off. Some of these games are just making so much money uh, out of free games, but, you yeah. know, people keep buying, yeah, you know, buying. Their, their little donuts or their little coins or whatever. And, and it's ridiculous how much money they're making from this. And Yeah. yeah in a way, it's kind of nice because you, you can play the game for free, technically. Uh, you just can't ever Don't really <laughs> get anywhere unless you, you know, devote your life to just playing that one game. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and you know, it, it, even if it's twenty five cents or fifty cents, it adds up. It, it, yeah. it adds up rather quickly. Daily. Yeah. What twenty five times one hundred? Uh, like uh, twenty five. Twenty five hundred. I don't know, <laughs> but it's a lot. <laughs> That's what it's a lot. And yeah, like it's like it just seems like you know it's just an excuse. You know how we talked about um, when the whole patching was it called when they um, patch? Well, well, there's a special word for it when they just um, when uh, they, update. Yeah, when they, they first do, day one update. Yeah, like when there's a game and there's glitches, so they just you know patch it up, patch it up. Yeah, yeah. Patches. And, you know they're not giving you complete games, and that's the same thing. Like they're giving you free to play games. Because they're free to 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 download or whatever, but you know you're not really it's not really free to play because you know you you don't pay it's not enjoyable. They're basically demos. Yeah, but, and but then w- when it comes down to it, you end up paying so much more for that for those games than you do for for a full console game. You know, people complain about oh this you know Nintendo the Nintendo games or or Sony or whatever those games are like sixty bucks. That's way too much. But then you know they 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 need another life on Candy Crush and you know yeah. you spend a buck here a buck there next thing you know you spent well over sixty bucks on that one game. Imagine if like the Legend of Zelda was like that. Like they say they okay the game is five dollars or but you only get three lives. Yeah. And if you want to get more lives, you have to buy it. Like, you have to buy it or you wait. What kind of I, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they start doing that. Because cause to me, I think they're making more money that way. Because I mean, obviously, people are paying. Yeah. So, I, I, do you like? I've never played a game where I've had to like pay to get lives or anything like that. Have you? No, no. Um, I mean, I played Candy Crush for a while, but then 
it really wanted me to it kept bugging me because it wanted me to uh link it to my facebook so that's when i was like nah yeah like, that that's enough i'm okay with that i'll leave it alone also when i noticed that yeah you know, i was on level 30 I, i i felt that it had been fun but i could see myself getting bored of it already mm-hmm And then I saw a video of somebody on level 100 and something. So I was like, eh, screw this. <laughs> like, I'm definitely not going to make it to 100 and something. So I may as well give up now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I get that. How about you, uh, Victorino? Vic? Yeah, I was playing that Orion Settler for the um, iPod. Uh -huh, that's a free-to-play game. Yeah, it's a free-to-play. And it gives you, like, instead of lives, it gives you, like, energy and a in order to do like a, um how you say it? uh like action. action you have to wait they like waste of energy and once you, once you use up all your energy you can either wait or you can uh, yeah. buy more energy and you know that just like it, it tries to get you at the the reptilian oh no not reptilian but the impulse like oh i'm, I'm so close to to beating it oh, i'm gonna buy this just just this one time yeah. just yeah. one time and then it, like the next time oh just one time one time no, one time because it, it is so much easier to say oh well it's only one buck yeah it's kind of like people who who and we probably mentioned this before kind of like people who buy at starbucks so often you know oh yeah yeah they're like yeah. oh it's just three bucks yeah well three bucks every day it adds up you know yeah So, um, so uh, this is a good way to uh, enter our first uh, podcast of the year with a rant. A rant, yeah. Now we're not I, feeling, I like ranting. I feel By a little way, bit those better. three bucks a day, if you do a five-day week, those are 15 bucks a week. And 30 time. bucks every two weeks, 60 bucks a month. That's a $60 a month just on a little bit of coffee. Yeah, you can make your own and it tastes just as good. Better. If you know how to make it, if you know how to make it, I mean, if you know how to use a coffee machine, difficult to, <laughs> yeah, if you know how to add water, <laughs> they, probably, they probably put some people yeah. put orange juice. But you know, if, if you take your time and, and you 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 uh, add the right ingredients, you know, a little bit of, of caramel, a little bit of sour, uh, not sour cream, <laughs> uh, you know, the the, the uh, whipped cream, it, it's good stuff. Yeah, and um, but yeah, it it adds up and everything. But and uh, you can even buy the little cups, the 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 to go cups. So you could definitely make yourself a very good cup of joe right at home for half the price. For for less than half, probably. Why do they call it a cup of joe? Uh, I'm not sure. Joe Joe Vinci coffee. Joe and Jose. Jose. <laughs> cup of ja cu cup the cup cup of Java. Um. It was it's Java coffee. I don't know why they call it Java or Joe or a privation for a coffee. Yeah. Oh yeah. But so 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 how are your ears? <laughs> how are what? Yeah. <laughs> how how, how are, are my ears? How are your ears <laughs> now that you've made it to 2014? My, my ears are okay. <laughs> your years. Oh, years. 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 Not uh, you know a lot of people just say how was last year, but I'm trying to I'm saying how were your past years. My up to this point, years. in terms of um, five years ago, <laughs> no, I guess in terms of relating it to gaming, do you think that last year was a good year for gaming? It was for me. Uh, it, it, last year, I did the most gaming I've done in, in in many years, and I didn't even do that much, but it was still the most I've done in many years, unless you count World of Warcraft. <laughs> Because for whatever reason, I never count World of Warcraft as video gaming for me. I'm always like, uh, I I haven't played a video game in forever. But then people are like, weren't, weren't you just playing WoW the other day? And I'm like, oh yeah, I guess that counts. Yeah. Well, and um, how about you, uh, Vic Ekis? Vic, um, How how was your gaming experience in 2013? It was very good, 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 <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, it was great. I, I, I it was can, great. I can see that because uh, you 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 did a whole play of uh, Ace Combat. He a did. He did. Ace and, and and he has the proof. Yeah, it's in the and it's in the page. And I did beat GTA Five. So. GTA Five. That's like the only game I, that came out. That came. It came out in 2013. Yeah, I think that's the only game that I actually beat that. See, only I, game. 
I managed to get Tomb Raider. I managed to get Portal 2. I managed to get uh, the the Super Mario 3D World. Uh, no, not 3D World. Um, the one before that. Uh, the Wii. Super Mario. Yeah, Super, Wii Mario Wii Super Mario Wii U. Wii U. Um, Wii U I managed to get Grand Theft Auto 5. I managed to get The Last of Us. The Last of Us. That's a lot for me. Yeah. <laughs> it's only five games, but and for no. me, that's a lot. And, and you beat them? You beat yeah, all I of beat, them. Those yeah. are the ones I beat. And you can't forget the Steam deals. Yeah, but yeah I've, I've been getting Steam deals like crazy, and, you know, I've installed a lot of them. I haven't played that many of them, but they're yeah. there for the collection. And, and um, you know, a lot of times people talk about what are the best games of uh, 2013, but I'm going to switch it up and say, like, what 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 is the game, uh, the best game you actually played in 2013, uh, Vic? GTA V. That's the best game you, you actually played on 2013? Well, yeah. I mean, it just happened to be a game that... How about Came you? Out. Which game did you did, that you played this year or last year that you really enjoyed? That's a difficult one because GTA V was definitely really good um, in its own ways. Uh, The Last of Us was also really, really good in its own ways. Also, um, so for me, for me to decide which one of those I like more, definitely I would say GTA Five was the most impressive. Uh, the Last of Us, to me personally, I I, I guess I kind of like that story more. Um, but if if I was to say <laughs> what game I played last year, that that that. I enjoy the most, which is actually the one that kind of got me back into gaming. It will have to be Portal 2 because I had never played that game. And the, the game was just freaking hilarious. <laughs> yeah, like I was watching. Uh, yeah, we, we did a little. That's how we spend our, our New Year's. Um, yeah. We, we, we played. Uh, well, I, I was here uh, cheerleading you in, in uh, Portal. The first, that was the first one, right? Yeah, after playing Portal 2, I, I decided, hey, I should really play Portal, the original one, at some point. Because there were some reference that, references that, that I know were popular in, in geek culture, but I I didn't know them, or I didn't know where they came from. So that's one of the games that, that I have bought a long time ago, Portal, and, and I never actually played. So... Right before New Year's, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it. So, I installed it, I started playing it, then you guys came over for New Year's, and we finished it then. So that, that's how we celebrated the New Year's so by finishing Portal. Yeah, and like, I, like I, I've, I've uh, watched some um, playthrough on, uh, like, on the YouTube's and stuff, but like actually watching you play, it, it was interesting, you know, because it's just. Because I was like expecting, I'm like, okay, where's the enemies? Like, yeah, the only enemies were the turrets, but it was it was kind of funny how you you could deal with them. You're just tipping them over and stuff, but but yeah, it was like a very interesting. It, it, it was like one of those games where it's like it's an original idea. It's not yeah, just like a like, recycled. When, when, when I when I first started playing the game, uh, I usually like um, puzzles. I I usually tend to hate fight scenes. Like scenes where I have to start shooting people, those I'm not a big fan of. You know, they, they especially in a in a very puzzle heavy oriented game, it, it kind of breaks the, the whole puzzle thing to me. So playing Portal Two uh, to me, what what was awesome because it's like I I didn't have to worry about about oh man now I'm gonna have like like a hundred different guys that I gotta kill, you know. Yeah. Like that that's always in the back of my mind with certain games like, oh crap, I'm gonna go into this room and it's gonna be like a thousand guys and I gotta kill them all. You know, so so it wasn't something that I had to worry about in this game. Um it was all one hundred percent figuring out how to get through certain certain things and, and you know they they have a lot of laws of physics in this game. So you know how if you put a um uh, a portal, you know, for those who are not familiar, you you have this gun where you put two portals, and then you go in through one, you come out the other one. Um, 
So if you put the portal, one portal on one wall, like on the floor, uh, and you're pretty high up, and then you put the port, the other portal on a wall, and then you jump into the first portal on the floor from high up, you're going to come out the other portal with quite a bit of, you know, at the same speed. So, so that kind of stuff really makes it interesting because if you just walk through it, then you're just going to fall on the other side. But if you jump from yeah. a distance, then you're just going to come out with speed and you're able to jump to uh, cool. other places. So, you know, it, it, it's just a lot of thinking and figuring it out and, and that just makes it a lot of fun. Yeah, and, and you know, there's a lot of like there's a couple of uh, um, spots in there where I was like, man, how how are you gonna figure this <laughs> out? And but then eventually, you know, you start just you know, like trial and error, and, and yeah. like I wonder, like, um, like do you think uh, as a kid, like think of being a kid, would you have patience for that? I know I won't. As a kid, I don't know. Even as an adult, there there were so many to. So uh, when I was playing it, the the Portal 2, there were a few nights where where I was just so stuck, and, and it would get so frustrating because you just don't know where to go, you know. But eventually, like, eventually I'll be like, you know, screw this, I'm just gonna go to bed. But then, when you're in bed, you're still thinking about it, you know. So so then the next morning you wake up. Uh, and, and you're like, hmm, I have an idea. So then you go back in the game and you try it out and it works. So, um, you know, I, I definitely had a few of those. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, it's definitely one that uh, people should check out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to actually play it. So, would you recommend playing the first one first? Yeah. Or should, you, or should you just skip it and just go to the second one? I found that there really wasn't anything extremely special about the first one. It is extremely short, so you know it wouldn't hurt. Um, but definitely, the the second one is the one that I would consider to be the real game. Okay. The the first one is really just kind of a test. Yeah, yeah, and, I, and, I, and for me in 2013, I think um, the best game I played. I don't know. It's like you know, it is hard because you know, even though GTA Five was was fun and everything. But I think that uh, Super Mario 3D World, like, if you have, like, if you play that with friends, I think that's, like, one of the funnest games that, like, that even we just played it, like, that short little time we played. Yeah. It was, it was like, fun as hell, just <laughs> killing each other. And no, so Super Mario 3D World was certainly uh, a great game. Um, I, I, I guess in a way, I, I, I don't tend to consider those, like, great games simply because... Um, they're they're not story based, but yeah, you're you're right. It is it is fun. Uh, you know, obviously, there is no story here. You know, Bowser kidnaps somebody, and yeah, always uh, Bowser, <laughs> always Bowser, troublemaker. Um, but but it is indeed a lot of fun, uh, and that one is certainly a lot of fun. I I haven't had time to to actually finish it. Uh, but I, I guess once once you finish it, there there is enough uh, extra levels with enough difficulty to 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 even challenge like advanced players. So so I was glad to hear that. Yeah. So like in terms of like uh, multiplayer, I, I give that like the game or the of the the year that I played. And so, but it just happened I, to be... I just wish it had, like, online multiplayer, you know? Yeah, that would be cool. Because, you know, it's at the same time, it's kind of like... You can... Playing by yourself, is it's okay, but it's not as fun. Like, you know, because you're just doing stuff and you're not having fun with your with your friends or whatever. But... Um, well, you're actually accomplishing stuff. Yeah, because you're actually... Yeah, you're, you're just not uh, throwing people off the cliff because they, yeah, yeah, yeah. they did it by accident. They didn't do it by accident. Oh, so you want revenge? By no, I definitely <laughs> did it by accident. People sure, kept sure you wanting did, to man. kill me. But in terms of like one player, yeah, it's hard to say that GTA, um, you know, it has to be up there. And uh, I also happened to play, I, I believe, I what was it? Um, I played Mass Effect in 2013. No, it was um 2012, yeah. December 20, 2012 and beginning of 2013. Well, I still finished in 2013, even though it didn't come out in 2013. 
But yeah, Grand Theft Auto was definitely one of those games that I was really hooked on. You know, I you know I actually beat it and everything. Um, I, I'm just surprised Grand Theft Auto this time didn't seem to get as much bad publicity as no. it normally does. It did it? It did. It did. Well, I got some, and you're, you you're you always expect uh, mm -hmm. some, but. I didn't hear that much on the news about it, you know. Yeah, I think by I think by this time people are just like, ah, oh, it's Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, I like, think people are finally getting used to to, to Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. yeah so so next year is like, oh, Grand Theft Auto Six. Yeah, it has these things, these these graphics and these adult themes and everything. But I don't think they're gonna make a de big deal out of it unless like I don't know some kind of like morality police comes or something. I don't know with all that porn PS4. Users are oh, yeah. watching. What's the deal with that? Like, I don't know. Supposedly, PS4 users are watching more porn than Xbox One users on their PlayStation systems. Correct. So they can track that. Somebody can. <laughs> somebody, <laughs> somebody's tracking them. Like yeah, the, the NSA hauls PlayStation 4. Uh, this was based on, on some porn site. Um, oh that, yeah, because they can that, they check your uh, what yeah. what what uh, device you're using. It. So according to this porn site, I forgot the name. Pornhub, uh, the the porn no, um, YouTube. I mean, <laughs> YouTube. Mo most porn tube. There, there's more PS4. <laughs> you just trying to give out all, all of them. Uh, you forgot a few, by the way. Red tube. Okay, you spank what? <laughs> Cl clip trying. hunter. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, supposedly they get more traffic from PS4 than names. they do from Xbox One. But then they also said that PS4 users tend to go for girl on girl, while Xbox One tend to go for anal. anal. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, so nobody goes for just like straight dick on, I mean, D on P. <laughs> yeah. Uh, apparently not. Huh, apparently I, that's not what people are into nowadays. So anyway, they, they they were making they're, a joke about how normal. <laughs> they were making a joke about how you know PS4 users were pussies and Xbox ones were assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Makes perfect sense. So I, I'm so I'm guessing it's the Wii that's going for the straight porn. The Wii, <laughs> yes. I'm not sure if you can even watch. Probably. Yeah, the YouTube app. They're probably. They're, they're <laughs> yeah, I don't think YouTube has porn. <laughs> or, or do you know something we don't know? Um, the internet. The yeah, internet Torino seems to know a lot about this. Yeah. You can use the uh, internet on the Wii U. Yeah, you, you can, but yeah, I don't think they will restrict it or anything. Probably not. Yeah, so um, so there you go. At least the Nintendo, good old Nintendo, holding family values. It's <laughs> a regular porn. People, people with Wii U's, please visit this website so that <laughs> the Wii U can also get named. Yeah. <laughs> And then mobile is pro no. no. But, but you know, go for straight sets. Yeah, that yes. way you guys can be the good family. <laughs> <laughs> where we, yeah, where 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 the porn stars are married to each other and stuff. <laughs> sure. Um, All right. But yeah, um, yeah. How uh, 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 how is how is twenty fourteen treating treating you? Twenty fourteen. Yeah, it's been a couple of days. It's uh, been a couple of days, I literally. I, I yeah. beat a game already. Yeah, but you started it in 2014? Late 2000. No, yeah. What, what game did you beat? No, I started late 2014. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm the I doctor. Mean, I mean, Pokemon X and Y. Pokemon y. PK. I PK thought you y. said a game. Hey, it's a game. They have a story. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good. Sure. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's pretty good. I wish they would have made that game for for the Wii U. It's better than Candy Crush. Yes, and, it and, is. And, and 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 I believe it wasn't in. Uh, we we haven't talked about this, but um, the whole thing about maybe that naming it the Wii U was not such a good idea after all. Apparently, people are confused. Yeah, like I mean, I, I try to picture myself being like a, 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 a like a parent, like you know, that's oblivious like to ignorant parent, yeah, ignorant parent, and that doesn't know anything. And I see a system called the Wii U and see that it's a tablet in the front. I just think that that's just like a, a Wii an with, an, with an add-on, which is the tablet, because the actual system looks almost the same. Exactly, which seems to be the big problem. People are thinking that the Wii U is just an addition to the Wii. So even for myself, I've had the issue where 
where I've had to explain to people, no, this is this is a different system. It's you know, people think that it's some kind of add on. And you know, it wouldn't be surprising to me if like even uh people who work at like Best Buy and, and places like that are like, um no, it's just uh it's a Wii with a with a tablet. You know how 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 uh, how I, I wouldn't be surprised of anything from people who work at Best Buy anymore, man. Yeah, like so I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure they're contributing to that uh ignancy. <laughs> Is that yep. it, the ignancy a word? Probably not. Probably not, but but I don't think I mean. ignorant is a word yeah. either. So. Ignancy. But yeah, like it wouldn't surprise me that even they don't know. They don't even know what a Nexus is, so why would they know what a Wii U is? Um, they probably think that the Wii Mini is a new system. <laughs> <laughs> and it. it just came this year, so it must be the new system. It, it's better. <laughs> and it's smaller, it's more compact, and it's red, and it comes with Mario Kart. That's the newest <laughs> Mario Kart. Well, technically. <laughs> well, well, it's good. Yeah, but the, it's a Wii. Yeah, but technically it's still the newest. Yeah, I guess. I guess when you're right, you're right. Um, yep. But I think this year is the year of, of the Wii U. You think? I think. Oh, 2000, yeah, because 2014. as long as they release, they, they get some st good stuff. A game every two, a good game every two months. Yeah, they they at use, least. I mean. Sadly, although it makes sense, I'm sure they're gonna take their time releasing the games. But I I believe that this year they're probably gonna have enough games out there to have something good every quarter at least. So if they can manage to do that, that's gonna be great. Yeah, it's like Mario Kart, and I can't wait for Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, yeah I'm Mario surprised Kart, that Smash Brothers. They, there's still that Zelda that supposedly they're working on. Although I'm thinking that's probably going to be a, a Christmas or maybe even next year thing. Yeah, because uh, Super Smash Brothers for the for the Wii regular Wii was a, re a launch title. No, it came like a month. There's a Donkey oh, yeah, Kong yeah. Country game, and you don't. Forget, oh yeah, it's a new Donkey yeah, Kong. Deep, deep Freeze, and don't forget about the 3DS system too. What about it? Um, Super Smash Brothers for the 3DS. Oh yeah, I mean that's. I wonder how that going to work. Like you can play. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Online. Yeah, like you, or it I, won't be a separate game. No, because yeah, I, I think both well, two different people have to have the same game, and they just like link up to each other. You know how in you just play, what's it called? Like the no, because like in the 3ds, they have like some stage like specifically from like three, past 3ds or handheld um, games, and then the way the artwork is as well. Okay, yeah, but, but yeah, so as long as you both have the same game, then you'll be able to play against each other. Maybe, I wonder if it's going to be like online play, because well, cause the, the regular one for the Wii had online thing, right? It was, it was probably like laggy or something. Yeah, I remember yeah, it had online multiplayer, yeah, it, does. it did. Yeah, so it's probably going to have that, I think, um, yeah. Um, YouTube, don't be nerds. YouTube. Hey, we're being gamers. Yeah, we're being gamers. This is GameX Presents. What you expect? <laughs> Talk about ponies? Can we? <laughs> or should we just talk about Doctor Who? Even better. Is there, there going to be a Doctor um, Who yeah, game? I, is there gonna, that, how cool would that be? Like, if they make a, like, a good Doctor Who game. Oh, okay. yeah, I was going to say, there have been good uh, Doctor Who games. <laughs> uh, I don't know if they've been good. I've never played any of them. Like, are those like recent games, or you don't know? I have no clue, man. Or Doctor Who from... like. Just Google. imagine like Doctor Who but, like, with like Mass Effect uh, graphics. That would be so cool. I, I couldn't tell you. You can, you can customize your, um, your companion to just make her the way you want it to look. I'll just make her look like Clara. That's, that's all I know. All right, that's cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, 2014. How how does 2014 look for Game X? 2014 for Game X. We're gonna uh, have change. There's gonna be changes, and I know we we've uh, we've listened to our other podcast at Anarchy Live. Um, we also discussed there about some changes and game X presents is also going to, uh, we're, I think we're going to do some changes also like, um, I'm going to try to, you know, we talk about how, you know, you do your videos in anarchy live, like how you, at the beginning, you didn't want to, you know, it was kind of hard getting into it because, you know, you start thinking, oh, people, if they're going to like it or not. Yeah, yeah. But eventually you're just like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. Who cares what people think? And. 
you know, and, and that's the, you know, in reality, that's the attitude uh, we should have because you should just do what you want to do. And if people like it, you know, they'll like it. If they don't, then, you know. We already don't care if they like this or not. Yeah, you know? so, you know, it just shows by the quality. No. I mean, we, we do. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but yeah. So we in, don't care in, to in, a point. Yeah, and GameX Presents, I think um, I'm going to try to do a lot more. Um, I'm going to try to do more than just, like, playthroughs. Because, you know, especially now with the whole um, YouTube um, monitor monetarization thing and the whole content ID, you know, maybe it's time for, you know, we still go on and do the, the playthroughs, but also add some more uh, diversity to the channel. Is Yeah, it's a channel, right? Yeah, it's and uh, so, yeah, so we're going to try to do more like original things. So I don't I still have no idea what are those things going to be. And but I'm open to suggestions. And how about going to Twitch? Oh yeah, oh yeah, we open up a Twitch account so you can fo they follow us in GameX Presents, right? Is GameX Presents? Yeah. There's no like funny uh, underscores or anything. No. It's just good old GameX Presents at Twitch. That's where we can uh, you can uh, go watch the live. Uh, what's it called? Playthroughs. But yeah, so definitely want to do some more things on the channel, trying to get some more people on it to help out, create more ideas. Um, even though it's, you know, it's still like a hobby. So it's not like this is, yeah, a, yeah. we're not doing this for a living. So, you know, so if we don't do things by a timely manner, you know, that it's because we have other things in our lives going on. Yeah. I, I don't know about you guys, but you know, everything I do with Anarchy Live, it's, it's all, it's a hobby. Yeah. It's a hobby. Um, I, I don't do anything expecting anyone to see it i don't do anything expecting anyone to subscribe or any of that stuff you know uh i certainly appreciate any comments any any views any shares you know uh, whenever i i see that somebody enjoyed something i made it makes me happy but for the most part i do it because there are things i like and i like to put it out there just in case There's that one person that it might help at some point, you know, even if it's years from now. It it, it just makes me happy when when somebody else gets helped from my content. Yeah, and uh, and and you know, it's you know how you say it's a hobby, and you know, we're, so we're, I'm gonna try to do more things that are like helpful. Like I'm gonna actually, I want to actually start like talking about like you know, not necessarily important debates regarding video games but it can be like some important like uh things defending video games because i know a lot of times video games gets a re bad reputation and a yeah. lot of people attack it and and you know I'm, i'm the type of person who don't like if you don't like video games and you think that there's there's such a bad things as long as you do it in a respectful manner like why sh there's no reason for me to To hate you at like, home with your pants off. What? That's how you do video games, respectfully. Oh, with your pants up? No, you don't pants use off. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, that, yeah no, yeah, but there's people saying. who don't like video games that think that that's crude. No, that, that's the way you're supposed to play. I know. That's what I'm saying. But some people don't see so it that you way. Imagine playing video games with your pants on. I mean, I guess if if you're playing on Twitch. You should probably. Oh, then again, you're only showing. I mean, I, I put them on when you guys are here, but on you know, if I'm by myself, obviously they're gonna come off. Yeah, but you I'm, don't game with pants on. But, but there's some people out there that say that you shouldn't game with your pants off, and I'm well, defending video games against them. those people. I'm 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 I'm, I'm going to start making video debating those people. Yeah, who you think, should because those what, people need to be taught. Yeah, exactly, and that's what Game X Present does. We. We like represent the justice. views of gamers over trivial situations. Heck yeah. So it's like people who say you cannot eat while playing video games. Oh, God. Do people say that? Yeah, people say that. That's messed up. That I mean, is messed up. Should you play... I mean, should you play... Uh, should you... What? Should you eat games while playing your food? <laughs> <laughs> no, you shouldn't eat games while playing with your food. You, you should eat your that. food when playing. Oh, should you? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Should you? Should you eat your food while playing games? Yeah. It, does how, it, how else? What the hell else am I gonna do while I'm chewing? <laughs> I can think of some what? other things you can do while chewing, but this, 
It is not porn site. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so so I'm gonna start like actually like trying to defend. Yeah, but you know, when I'm eating, I gotta I gotta use my hands for for. Never mind. So yeah, so I'm gonna do like. I'm going to try to do, like, uh, sh- short videos debating those assholes who think that you cannot, you should not play with your pants off. Or you should oh, not God. eat while playing games. Those guys are messed up. Or you shouldn't use your cell phone while taking a shit. No. Oh, no, you shouldn't do that. That's fucked up, dude. <laughs> ah, it's okay. You should never answer yeah, your uh, phone yeah. calls yeah, never never answer answer. when taking a shit. That's you, for sure. You're taking a mean shit. You should be able to play some uh, Candy Crush. You know, <laughs> That's it, what Candy Crush is for. Just for long shits. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is this podcast coming to? Yeah, it's actually... It's Happy New Year. Happy New Year, yeah. Um, so, Or that you should celebrate New Year's with your family instead of playing video games. Nah, I'll agree with that one. But that's what we did. Yeah, we we celebrated New Year's with our family, playing video games. I'm your family. Yeah, you guys are family. So we're la familia. Heck yeah! Oh, that's, that's what way. I do. That's how I roll. Eso lo que digo. Ese. <laughs> what the hell? Who's saying that? I don't know who's saying that. This podcast just went downhill yeah. at some point. You know that. You know. You know what? Other changes for 2014. You know what? And if you don't like it, oh, yeah, continue listening. Because apparently, if, if you if you listen, you keep listening right now. You, it doesn't matter what we're saying. You know, you're still listening. So maybe they're just like I. I apologize for him. Uh, maybe they're they're in a we, car. We just came from eating, and and maybe this is the sugar talking. I don't know. No, it's those guys. Those guys? They were talking about, like, The Hobbit and, and stuff. These guys were talking about The Hobbit and stuff and cool stuff, but then they started talking about gay stuff. and Yeah, gay stuff. And, then, and then some idiots there started talking about um, how you can't say I'm 50% sure of something. You you can't. I'm not going to go through this no, with you again. What are you, no, you can't what are you say about? you're 50% sure. Hey, it was those assholes in, those, in, a, in, a, in a barbecue no, place. No, that was us, remember? No, we're not assholes. Yeah, we are. We're pussies. We're at PlayStation 4s. No, you have an Xbox One. Oh, yeah, I'm an asshole. And I have a PC. I'm not sure what that makes me. You, you, that makes oh, you the no. ultimate the <laughs> ultimate porn watcher. <laughs> <laughs> you watch everything. You go watch midget porn. You watch gay midget porn. That's the best. Yes. Tri- what? Tripod 17 is now out. No. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> wow, this this podcast is when the shit. All right. All right okay, so uh, <laughs> let's to next week. 2014. This is oh, just a small okay. glimpse of what 2014 has coming for you. Um so you got to be You got to say coming. It was it's coming. coming. It's coming for you like coming t- straight to your straight face. To your ear. Oh, now it's <laughs> used to be to the, your ear in 2013. Uh, we're just coming straight okay. to your face like with with the YouTubes. You you watch more the, Ace Combat? No, f- YouTube is gonna be all over your face yeah. in 2014. Get all that goodness in your face, just all up in there. You know, which I want to say that like a mascara. That Gamerx presents finally have 200 subscribers. Yeah, we got 200 subscribers, dude. Whoa! Don't embarrass us. Wow, I'm so embarrassed. Hey, are those like 200 different accounts that you made? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, only a hundred and ninety. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, well, I ain't got nothing. Ain't ain't nothing. Ain't got nothing else to say. How about you? Is is there a game you're looking forward? I mean, you got an Xbox One. Is there a game that you're looking forward to? Oh. Absolutely not. <laughs> like, I don't even know what games are going to come out. The hell you buy the system for? Because it was available. <laughs> <laughs> it's all over the place available. You go to Best Buy and they have like. Mountains of it. I know. I wanted to get a PS4. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I wanted to get a PlayStation 4, but they didn't have any PlayStation 4, so I, they just had an Xbox bone. And, Xbox and I, bone. <laughs> and I was like, fuck, I can't wait for a PlayStation 4, so I just bought an Xbox One, and, and I'm stuck with it. You're stuck with it. Yeah, I've been enjoying FIFA. Did, did you ever connect that Kinect camera? No, Never. the Kinect camera is still not, it's still, it's still not connected. Uh, how's FIFA? FIFA's good. It's alright. If it's fun, it gets me mad as hell. 
Victorino, um, how, how, how is uh, Forza? I haven't played it yet. <laughs> you haven't played it? He no. has. He, he's too busy playing uh, Forza. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's too busy playing uh, Ace, Ace Combat. Combat. <laughs> but the reason is because well, I... Uh, you're, a, you're, you're a freaking car freak. How can you not... Because okay. he, he doesn't know how to use an Xbox One. Oh, okay. No, it just takes forever to it to um to install the game. The game is already it. installed. It, well, I'm not, I'm not waiting for a spy the game. Well, but it's already installed. It, the, the game ain't pre-installed. I installed it. It's already there. I already installed it on, on the X-Bone. So we are you arguing? Play, <laughs> you could have been playing that game all this time. No, but no, because I wanted to play... um. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Ground Zero, Metal Gear Solid. Uh -huh. But I wanted to get it for the for the uh, PlayStation Four. Okay, it's gonna come out for the Xbox One, but I'm gonna get it for the PlayStation Four just because all my previous collections are from the PlayStation Four, and I want to. I don't know. I have like some kind of some like organization with it. If, if I get if I have the collection on one system, I just wanted to get it for that system. I don't want to do cross. Contamination make, make, makes sense. I don't know why. Do you no, do, are you it the makes same sense. Way? You, you, do, you would you do the same thing? Um, like for like for collection purposes. No, I mean, pers I, I I don't care. I'm not crazy, but oh. it, it makes sense. Yeah, no, I, I just don't have a series that 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 I can think of. <laughs> like of Final Fantasy. Wow, well, I guess that's a bad yeah, game. Th those Resident Evil. No, I guess Ace Combat. Um, um, let's say, um, um, yeah, I just don't have Mario. It's only one. What if Sega? <laughs> what is Sega one? No, uh, yeah, I, yeah, but, but I, I, I could see myself wanting to stick to, to one console if, if, if it's possible. For like a series? Yeah. I know for me, it's Ace Combat and, uh, PlayStation. Yeah, the, but they're the, new. Oh, yeah. This, yeah. So you got the expo. This video game season, however, it looks like I'm. I'll probably end up getting a PS4 at some point. I don't think I'm gonna get it at Spawn. Um, I think I'm gonna. I'll probably get a PS4 just just for the hell of it. But I think I'm gonna focus more on on PC gaming and see how how that goes for me because I've been kind of enjoying it. Yeah, PC gaming is definitely it's just uh. Like if there's exclusives, because I, 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 even I think Metal Gear will eventually make it to the PC. I believe so. I think that's what I heard. But have any? I know PlayStation usually has more of the titles that that I like. Yeah. Um. You know, the Last the, of Us, Last of Us, uh, Uncharted, Band Uncharted, Crash uh, Bandicoot. I still want it. No, not Crash <laughs> Bandicoot. <laughs> Although <laughs> apparently they're making a new Crash Bandicoot. So. But yeah, for real. Yeah. That's wow. what I heard. Rumor. Uh, PS4. They must have heard our podcast. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, Beyond Two Souls. I haven't played that, but I kind of want to play that. Yeah. It looks that. interesting enough. So it's going to be called Beyond Three Souls? <laughs> no, I'm just saying I, I want to play it. Yeah, but I heard that um, people... Maybe... It just seems like, like PS PlayStation has more of the games I like. Yeah. So... Yeah, because like, I, when I think of like Xbox, I think more like shooters... But for for sure, if I'm able to get a game on the PC, I'm gonna go for the PC instead of the of the PS4. Because you know, on, P, on PC, at least so far, you can always play your old games. You know, this this whole thing with consoles where they never want to be backwards compatible yeah, is bullshit. That that is bullshit. So that, that's yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can almost understand it with... I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but I can almost understand it with the PS4 because it's a different architecture from the PS3. But the Xbox One is basically the same thing as the Xbox. I mean, you know, it's, it's different, obviously, but but it's... it's yeah, yeah. I, I do believe the Xbox is... Uh, Xbox 360 was 386 architecture, so who knows? Yeah, they, they're just doing them just to... I mean, X86, not 386. <laughs> Yeah, but regardless, you know they can they can easily do it. They just that they don't want to do it because Still the first years. Yeah, so definitely PC gaming is the way to go, as I see it, especially with Steam. You know, it's just there's so much value in there. Not just Steam. I mean, there 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 is other great uh, stores out there, but 
But Steam has a great service. You yeah, know? If, you got, if you just have to pick one, then Steam yeah. is the way to go. It just makes it simple. There, there are certain things that I'm not crazy about. Like, like I wish when when you play on Steam, I wish that that was the only thing that you had to deal with. But on certain games, you still have to log into yeah. a, to to Windows Live or log into you whatever the or um, Origin, you uh, Live mm-hmm. or whatever the. Uh, Assassin's Creed one is, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. You have to go to their or, to the developers uh, yeah. thing, which, which is, you know, it's annoying. Yeah, it is. But but Steam still does a really good job at, at, at keeping track of all everything you do. So yeah, yeah. And we hear about that that um helmet with the video game. I don't know what it called. Helmet with the video game? Yeah, it's like a helmet. It's like a... The Oculus, you mean? Yeah, yeah, the, the Oculus. Oculus. Yeah. It, it, is that coming out this year? No, it's going to be at the... CES. 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 I, I, I so want to try that. I really do. Yeah. I don't know how much it's going to cost, but I just I just want to try it. I know. You know, I, I'm sure it's probably going to fail. I'm sure it's probably going to... It's going to be the, uh, but, the Virtual Boy 2.0. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's definitely a lot better than a virtual boy. Because I think I have more than rest. It, it, if anything, it looks like it would be great for watching movies. Yeah, imagine like oh, like oh, those movies. Like if there's like a special movie, like like with a you know how like uh, what's it called? Google has that camera on top of the the cars that yeah yeah, look, yeah 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 like that kind of so you can like look around and that that would be pretty cool. Hey, just that for just Google Maps. But you know what? <laughs> Honestly, even if even if it's just a uh, VR headset where you just put it on and you can just all you can see is the movie screen. Uh-huh. You know, if it looks like like you're at the movies, I'll be happy with that. Yeah. Hey, that that that, that uh, would be perfect for Minecraft. Minecraft, Minecraft, World of Warcraft, so many other games. You know. Yeah, Elder games Scroll. are not necessarily like fast paced, but like yeah. you know, just to look around at the environment and stuff like that. Um, but you know, like like I said, even if, if if I could get something like that, that's affordable because so far every VR headset has always been super expensive. Um, but really, three D three D movies, all you need is it's two different images, and if you can get the two different images that look really good to your eyes, uh, and it looks like you're just looking at this huge TV screen. I'll be happy with that, you know, if they make it affordable. I would be all over something like that. Yeah. So we're just going to have to wait and see when is that? Imagine just watching movies, like just laying down in bed at night. Just put on your headset. Is it going to be heavy? And just fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're laying back, so it wouldn't matter if it's heavy or not. Yeah. That's cool. I, I can dig it. Yeah. I'll be happy with that. Yep. But anyway, enough yep. of that. Um. Yep. I got nothing. I got nothing. Nothing. Okay, when it's <laughs> unanimous, when three people have nothing, the podcast is officially over. We're not going to try to extend it. Yeah, we won't extend it. Um, so this is Luis Equis. This is Javier Torres. And this is Victorino Equis. Wishing you a happy new year and hopefully all your wishes come true this year and your goals. Although by the time they listen to this, it's probably way past New Year's. Yeah, but it's still it's still it, New Year. Yeah. It is a New Year. You're right. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna shut up then. So even if it's in you listen to this in July, it's still a New Year. <laughs> the is. first in New Year. So stay warm. Well, if you're listening to this in the winter time, <laughs> maybe you live in Mexico and you're not. Maybe it, you need to stay cool. Yeah, stay cool. Stay cool, man. Well, all right. Peace. Bye. Adios. Sayonara. Ah.